Breaking news tonight at 10 firefighters are battling a roof fire in Fargo, which is in a tricky spot. We'll explain why and it's a trillion plus dollar issue in America and now the president is urged to act on it. We look at a new proposal to wipe out some student debt. Also new at 10, Big Kitty in city limits, where this mountain lion was spotted, causing concern from local police. Valley News Live at 10 starts right now. This is Valley News Live at 10. The breaking news at this hour right now. Crews are working to, working to put out a roof fire in North Fargo. That call for the fire came in around 8 tonight to the 1200 block of 9th Street North. Crews say the fire started in a chimney that has a wood frame. Firefighters tell Valley News Live they'll have to cut into the chimney and the roof to get it completely out. They say it's not big, but it will take a while to get it completely under control. Crews say there's not a lot of smoke in the house and the family should be able to stay there still tonight. New tonight at 10, the debate continues tonight on the issue of student debt, and it's a trillion dollar question. Should it be wiped out for all, for some, or no one? President Joe Biden has pitched for giving $10,000 for each person. Some argue that it's not enough, others say it's too much. The Valley News team's Courtney Lockie asked those affected what they think about it all. What year are you guys? Uh, uh, super seniors. Super seniors. <laughs> we, okay, yeah. so you're almost Done. So do you guys have student loans? Yeah, yeah. quite a bit, yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. pharmacy students. Whether a super senior or a brand new college student. I had to actually take out my whole student loan by myself and have to pay it back by myself. These NDSU students aren't alone. Student debt loans near 1.7 trillion in the U.S. right now. Yes, that's trillion, as in the 12 zeros trailing the one. Especially if you're a full-time student and can't have a full-time job right away to pay back. North Dakota's piece of the pie is around 2.4 billion, more than 29,000 per person. In Minnesota, that number is much higher at 25.5 billion, more than 32,000 per person. They encourage education. I think that's a good idea. They say education is the best investment you can make for yourself. These students say President Biden's idea to forgive 10,000 of federal student loan debt to each borrower is a step in the right direction. Gives a little bit of that financial relief that we're not going to have to worry about being in debt half our life. But there are those who oppose. I currently don't have student loans. I work over the summer so I can pay pay for them with that. Questioning the fairness of the president's idea. I don't think we should do forgiveness loans because I don't want to have to pay for it later. Taking into consideration that forgiveness loans would be considered taxable income, which could bite students on the back end. Other than issuing an executive order extending the pause on student loan payments during the pandemic, the president hasn't taken action. In the FM area, Courtney Lockie, Valley News Live. President Joe Biden is facing pressure from Democrats to increase the amount. The pause on student loan payments will last through the end of September. Police in Breckenridge, Minnesota are warning people about a mountain lion sighting. Police say that this cat was spotted on the northeast side of town earlier this morning. Mountain lions don't generally stick around, but they can be dangerous, especially for young children and pets. If you see this animal roaming in the city or any potentially dangerous creature, you're urged to call police. We have new information today on that tragic story involving a horse found shot to death in Ottertail County, Minnesota. Authorities there are now searching for two suspects after a horse was shot and killed near Earhart Thursday morning. We're told authorities set out on snowmobiles today to search for evidence in that area. Now, if you have any information, you should call the sheriff's office. That number 218-998-8555. It wasn't looking too good today. In fact, it almost got a little worse as the day went on. We want to check in with Summer Schnellbach right now to let us know what we can expect tonight and into tomorrow. Good evening, Summer. Good evening, Jordan. The snow has come to an end for most of us across eastern North Dakota and in the Central Valley. Here's a live look at our Grand Forks home of Economy Skycam Network. We can see a dusting of new snow on the ground and that has created some slick spots on those roads as well. I'm sure you know if you have been out today. 
Much of the snowfall across eastern North Dakota has now moved across the river into northwestern Minnesota and has begun to pick up in intensity in some locations up towards Thief River Falls and moving in towards Faustin. So we'll be watching that as we progress through the evening. The latest from the North Dakota Department of Transportation. This has been a colorful map all day long, but roads are slick. Yellow indicates scattered ice on the roads. Blue indicates wet and slushy roads, which we are seeing through much of the Fargo Metro and north of the Fargo, seeing a little bit of ice as well and snow covered roads and partially snow covered roads throughout the central Red River Valley. Coming up in a few minutes, I'll be talking about more snow on the way by midweek. All right, thank you, Summer. Police still need your help searching for Oliver Ty. He's the man wanted in the shooting at an apartment complex last week. The vehicle that he was suspected of driving was found last night. Ty has been charged with attempted murder along with other crimes in connection with that January 24th shooting. If you see him or know where he is, you should call police right away. A Fargo clinic is damaged after a man with a homemade flamethrower went at the lobby and then got in a fight with an employee. Around 1130 last night, police say 50 year old Santos Mequam went into the lobby of the Sanford Sleep and Dialysis Clinic along University Drive. Authorities say he had a bottle of hairspray and a lighter and then started to light things on fire. An employee saw what was happening and tried to stop Mequam. The two then got into a fight. Police say Mequam punched the employee in the face and started running. Authorities later found Mequam in a parking lot close to the clinic with that bottle of hairspray. He is now under arrest for simple assault, endangerment by fire, and an unrelated warrant. Now a quick check of Mequam on the North Dakota court system shows he's no stranger to police. His rap sheet is on your screen right now. More than 80 citations or criminal charges ranging from burglaries and assaults to trespassing and terrorizing. The majority of these charges came within the past four years. A stolen vehicle report led to a short chase in Fargo and this man in jail. Authorities found a stolen vehicle near the Red Roof Inn along 44th Street South in Fargo and tried to talk to the man inside, but he took off. 37-year-old Greg Stevens was then arrested just across the street. He's now in jail for possession of a stolen vehicle, theft of property, refusal to halt, and six unrelated warrants. One teenager has some pretty big bills ahead of him after driving through a field and then getting his car stuck on train tracks, then getting busted for DUI. Police found this car stuck on the tracks on the north side of Fargo by 35th Street and 12th Avenue early this morning. Authorities say 19 year old Connor McCullough of Fargo hit the ditch, drove through that field and then got stuck. He wasn't seriously hurt and no one else was in that vehicle. A trail camera turned out to be the right investment for a person tired of, of garage burglaries. It caught two guys in the act this morning. One homeowner in the 5200 block of 21st Avenue South, he was tired of having his garage broken into, so he installed a trail camera. This morning, police say the homeowner saw two people going into the garage again and stealing. That homeowner quickly called police and the cops showed up just in time. 26 year old Travis Russell tried to run from police but was caught hiding a short time later. 25 year old Ryan Delaney gave in to police right away. The pair face a range of charges including burglary, possession of drug paraphernalia and unrelated warrants.